Wow. Now look where you've ended up and why, I wonder. You... What are you doing here? I'm here because of you, Andy. And you know why. No, you shouldn't be here. But I'm all that you have left. Did you miss me? I don't need you anymore. Oh, please. Who else can you turn to? Jess? <laughs> don't talk about her! She brought you out of the dark, just when everyone else had given up on you. And then you ended it so abruptly. What you did was much harsher than ending it by, say, text, wasn't it? I don't know what happened. You thought you were cured, but you can never get rid of me. I am the scar memory of your sins to serve as a permanent reminder. Do you remember when we first met? Don't you mean what caused me to create you? Same difference. Ah, Mum and Dad, they were always there for you, but you just shut them out. Never wanted their love. And your older brother, there's all that jealousy and hate, but he was harmless, just as countless others were. But you thought they were against you. Why is that, Andy? They were just condescending, they wouldn't believe I had a problem. But you never gave them a chance. You gave Jess a chance, didn't you? Why? It's not like she was important. You think I don't feel bad enough? This is my punishment. All of this. You think that this is enough? You're in my head. I can make you go away at any point. I think you'll find it's much more complicated than that. I'm in control now. <coughs> but we're the same. We are not the same. You're pathetic. Now, I'm going to do the talking for both of us, so listen up and listen good. You need to step up and change your life. You can't do this on your own. I know what you're trying to do. It's not worth it. I realise what I've done now. I know why I'm here, so just go already. What do you want from me? To grow a backbone. Do you remember the last time that we met? The reason I exist, when you are at your lowest point, when you have no one else, when you start thinking that you are the problem. Think back to that night. The night Jess died. How could you have possibly killed her? Well, if you won't listen to me, then maybe you will listen to her. Hello, stranger. That's not fair. Aren't you pleased to see me? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Hey, I'm here. But you're not. <laughs> it's my fault. No. I can't let you sit here and feel sorry for yourself without knowing you are loved. And I forgive you. I may be gone, but if you ever truly knew me, you know I just want you to be happy. Death is lurking around every corner. And I just wasn't lucky. But I was definitely lucky to have you in my life. I wouldn't have wanted to spend my last days with anyone else. They were always for you. Don't go. Please. I have to. Sometimes, when you love someone, you've just got to let them go. Tough times are ahead. So you're going to have to learn to love again. Goodbye. So there is something you care about. Honour, 
respect. But why can't you do these things for yourself? She taught you how. You just need to let it go and believe. Do you really believe that you killed Jess? No. I, I didn't. But how could I just realise that? The combination of your grief and pain, it masked the truth and you couldn't help but blame yourself. You thought that you had killed her. Let me walk you through it. So, so I didn't kill Jess. But I can't help feeling that they let her down. The way I see it is that you're one of those people who doesn't realise who's important to them until they've lost them. It shouldn't have to be like that. Exactly. But it's one thing entirely to say something and another to actually do it. So what are you going to do, Andy? Take control. Mr. Robertson? Well, uh, but I... My girlfriend. Look, I understand that you're upset, but if we're ever going to find the people that did this, then you need to finish your witness statement. Are you done? Yeah. Take the thing. 